um, and you call yourself male, male chauvinist, right? No. What does that I'm What does sorry. that mean? That's, that well, that's, that was out. That's out there on. No, it's on, not. It, no, it's yeah, not. Yes, You're it falsifying. is. It's not male chauvinist. What and is your it? Viewers can watch that. Western, Western chauvinist. Western chauvinist. Okay, so, Western can chauvinist. Say, can what you does say that, that mean? It was false, that what you just said? No. What Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. Is this the worst CNN interview ever? It's definitely up there if it's not the worst. I can think of several other ones. I can think of that recent Brian Stelter one where he's got the psychiatrist saying that Trump is worse than Mao and Hitler. And also a side note, if you want to know about the black guy that doesn't seem to want to go away, I don't know, people keep asking about it. I'll say, let's say, five more patrons five more subscribers to my Patreon account and I'll post a video on there. And then if I get more subscribers on Patreon, then I'll start posting more exclusive content on there, cutting room floor interviews, extended footage, stuff from stuff I've done from going out in the field and talking to people. But what this interviewer does here is ask about threats that Joe Biggs, formerly of InfoWars, uh, made to Antifa on Twitter. Now, the problem with that I see is, does CNN ever talk about Antifa doxing people, threatening people, showing up at people's houses, slashing tires? They never talk about any of that stuff. And I would have shown you Joe Biggs' tweets, however he's been banned and I've since read that he's also banned from Facebook as well now. Now to show, showcase how biased things are in the media in their portrayal of the Proud Boys, I want to show you this one tweet that I received. I was replying to a photo of 11 KKK members here where the person claimed they said that Trump is uniting the country with white values. Then someone compared people marching in, compared it to people marching in Oregon. And of course, that was the Proud Boys and Patriot Prayer that were there. And of course, they also said that the readers of Breitbart are lumped in with these people and comparing them to the KKK. So immediately that should tell you that they've probably never watched or read anything made by the people they're mentioning here. So what I said was, to compare the Proud Boys and Patriot Prayer, even if you disagree with them politically, to white nationalists is quite hyperbolic to me, and I think that's true. Considering both of the former groups have many non-white members and do not advocate for anything based on race. To which I received a mind-blowing reply. They have non-white members to try and say they're not race-based, but they push white supremacy bull. You must belong to one since you're defending them. Both were marching with torches and spouting ish. <laughs> Just like a bad rap uh, edit. That ish in Charlottesville. Now, Proud Boys and Patriot Prayer didn't march with tiki torches. And having non-white people in a group, whether it's ironically or not, means that you don't have to be white to join. I'm sorry to tell you that. You can't win with these people. Either they have no non-white people and they're racist, or they have non-white people, and they're just doing it to seem not racist. Oh, you're just doing that because you don't want to be racist. Even though the guy in this interview is one of their leaders, and he's not white. Some of the original members were not white. They had a big Samoan guy. They had a young black guy. It, they even had a, I don't know what he called himself, but it was a man wearing a woman's wig, dressing as a woman. They had that in their original ranks from back in the day. And back in the day in 2016... When the Patriots were standing up to the globalists. <laughs> so, I, to me, this also says you don't think that these people who aren't white in these groups are too stupid to know what they're getting into and they can't think for themselves. You have to be saying this or else why would they be joining a white supremacist group? Now, I want to show you the worst part of this interview uh, with the Proud Boy, Enrique Terrio, who's clearly not white, by the way, if you can notice to send because a lot of people see the message as one of uh, intolerance, xenophobia, racism. What is the message that well, you are trying well, to actually send? Well, just a second ago, you mentioned people of color, right? Yeah. And you said, and I'm a person of color, right? I'm Cuban, yeah. right? My okay. family, two of my family members got killed in uh, Castro's regiment. So it's a difference of opinion, whether it's people of color, white people, it's always about race. Our message isn't, today, our message wasn't about race. Our message has never been about race. What when you join message? our ranks, when you join our ranks, we don't ask you what, what race you are, what religion you are. We just, we just accept you for who you are. We have liberals, in a lot of liberals, there's actually one uh, prominent liberal that's here that's part of our ranks. 
liberals would probably dispute that to say that you guys have a lot of liberals as a part of your group. Um, and you call yourself male, male chauvinist, right? No. What does that I'm What does sorry. that mean? That's, that well, that was out. That's out there on. No, it's on, not. It, no, yeah, it's yes, not. You're it is. Falsifying. It's not male chauvinist. What and is your it? Viewers can watch that. Western, Western chauvinist. Western chauvinist. Okay. So Western chauvinist. Say, what does that, that mean? That was false. That what you just said. No. What does that can mean? What is What is a chauvinist? What do you mean? A chauvinist is somebody that's patriotic and extremely proud of their country. So you tried to twist my words and say that my group is a male chauvinist. There's a big difference. I'm letting you speak about it. No, you, so you I'm letting me you speak about it. No, I just said true. Western. No, you said, no, no, no. You said I male said male chauvinist. chauvinist and then corrected myself. You said Western chauvinist. What does that mean? Yourself, a lot of people hear the word chauvinist and they think male chauvinist. They think of people. And what no. you say on the website and what you have heard from Gavin McGinnis, who created this group, is that this is for only for people with penises. That is literally yeah, what it's, has it's been said. So isn't that so, a male? So let Chauvinist? me ask you something. So women's groups, women's rights groups that are all women, are they sexist too? The, the, are they there, sexist? Are, there are women's groups who allow, like the women's movement, so the they women's want males club, to come the, out the and, and club, be... I'm sorry. The women's club, are they a sexist group? So I want you to notice the headline of far left and far right they have on CNN, which I guess at least that's even, but I don't think Patriot Prayer and the Proud Boys are far right. I think they are just slightly... Or, further right than regular than regular conservatives, which is, of course, further right than Canadian conservatives or British conservatives. I'm not sure about Australia, but to call them far right is just because they, like, how can you compare people unmasked beating people up to a bunch of guys who you may or may not agree with showing up praying? And, like, of course they're going to get in scuffles with Antifa, but I don't think that's far right. I'm sorry, I haven't changed. The definitions have just changed. So not only does she accuse them of racial bias, and in the three years I've seen from the Proud Boys, I've known of them, I've never heard them espouse anything to do with race negatively, or never talk about anything about race in a racist manner, frankly. And I feel like she clearly knew that the phrase was Western chauvinist, instead of male chauvinist, which she said anyways, but she wasn't willing to say it unless challenged on it. So she just came in there and it's like, oh, well, aren't you a male chauvinist? And he had to correct her and force her to say it like four times. And to suggest that having a, having a men's club that is just for men is to suggest it's crazy. Or sorry, to suggest that it's sexist because there's only men in it. That's crazy. Is a women's sports team sexist for not allowing men in it? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And it shows just how much these types, the CNN types, and the people of the tweets that I'm showing you have completely lost the plot. Now I'll go ahead and say here that I'm not affiliated with, nor do I know any Proud Boys or Patriot Prayer. I've watched them on YouTube just like everybody else over the last three years before and after the Trump election. And think of them what you will. You can criticize them, but it's the same thing that goes with Trump. When you claim they're Nazis, when you claim they're white supremacists and racists, and when they're clearly not, it does not help your cause. It makes you look like the crazy person. You're trying to label these people as terrible, but at the same time you're making these obviously false claims and it makes you look insane and makes your cause lose credibility. Now please go watch the full video. Uh, the ratio of it is terrible. I'm just trying to look back at it here on the old screen. Ratio is currently 19,000 downvotes to 4,000 upvotes. So take that as you will, but go watch it. Maybe bring a vomit bag. Thank you.